uh, speaking about Jimmy Wanjiki, I doubt that Jimmy Wanjiki will qualify for this one. Jimmy has been in business sector for quite some time. He's now trying, but you see, the games is bringing in the issues of sponsoring, uh, agonism, you know, antagonism. I don't know whether it's going to give him a platform with this kind of generation, the generation Z, yeah. who have got totally different perspective. Yeah. They want to know where is their cut. They want to be assured of their employment. Yes. They want to be assured of sustainability. They want to be assured of good governance. And the best way is to have a surprise or now to approach these issues. And, and you talked about Gen Z because uh, it's because of their um, actions and coming out on the streets that largely compel the government to make some concessions, including the withdrawal of the Finance Bill 2024. But he also mentioned Honorable Ruto that uh, Odinga ha is not subscribed to trivial and petty politics, uh, therefore talking about the broad-based government. Yes. Why would it be hard for the president to run the country without broad-based government or naming members of the opposition party into cabinet because you have the mandate. What, what was the point of, or the significance of it, of having a broad-based government when you have the mandate from the Kenyan people? You remember when Kenyan said we need a president to listen? Do you know that narrative? He listened. They did not say that. Uh, the they young should Kenyans the... say that we want to have a president that is listening. Okay, they said the president should and say, Look at this. Yeah. Because whatever issues I'm pushing, it is not my own issues. The Kenyan issues are not my own issues. And I'm not that so chill as that I want to stick to it and be perceived to be that person that solely I want to hit what if there's anything to beat. But I want to allow a different mind because this is Kenya. By saying, if I have somebody from the other quarter coming in and we sit together, it will give a different image. It will give a different picture. And I'm sure since then, already we've seen the language and the communication from the, the CS uh, Treasury already is beginning to give another discourse on how to run the country. But so the MP cases are said that Jimmy Wanjiri cannot be the president because he is an anarchist and he, is, he has been in business for so long and is trying to come into politics but the antagonism of the Gunism sponsoring activity will ruin his image in the Gen Z and it's like this guy is trying to imply that indeed Jimmy Wanjiki sponsors the Gen Z but in other previous videos we have seen Jimmy Wanjiki who was like an ally of Ruto in some way but in the real sense that did not materialize or it was, it was like politics of betrayal at that time then now Jimmy Wanjiki has come back to haunt Ruto the same way he did seven years ago haunting Uru Kenyatta. So this guy is trying to gain into political influence and he has really been warning Ruto each now and then. That means that this guy is trying to climb up the radar and in Kenya you know politics is the masses, finance and the influence. So this guy has been using these methods to gain that ladder and is seemingly moving up and up threatening the president is that he's going to come and storm the house and take them away. William Ruto, not today. I am coming for you because I believe Ruto must go. Asante sana. Ruto must go is a clarion call even in my heart. He must go. William Samoy Ruto cannot solve problems that he has helped create. He cannot. God will never even bless him with that. <clears throat> if you had the brain, you'd never have created them in the first place. He has created such problems in this country to do with money, to do with the economy of this nation. And I can tell you, he's compounding it. He cannot solve it. He's, past of the, he's part of the last wreck that has happened in the previous regime and is creating even more mess now. He cannot solve it. Every day William Ruto is in power, I want Kenyans to know, it is more and more pain. He has no solution to this. So how, um, because you have a, a copy of the Constitution of Kenya there, um, how would you propose he leaves office? He should resign like yesterday. And his government should resign. Rigathi Gashagwa should resign. The speaker was already cancelled by Gen Z when they went to the floor. They, under Article 1, already took back that house called Parliament. And on the following Thursday, they were going to take back State House, which meant the people have taken back power. 
as Article 1 of the Constitution. And it must be clear to everybody, the Constitution is not above the people. The people are above the Constitution. State officers are below the Constitution. So it's the people first, the Constitution, and then state officers. All right, you say... So basically, Mr. The Jiri Wanjiki today is not yet done with the Ruto. Have, Even have, after have he was arrested, the this guy is going of this to come back as he has promised and let wait and see. And but you seem to be trying to live in an era who says that, that has Jiri long Wanjiki passed. Is going nowhere. He's just making noise so that he can William Ruto. political recognition Why do you fear and influence me? the masses. But he said that the agency if you fear don't me, really be recognize him. Be a man. The come and deal with me properly. The agency wants assurance Not in my home. The education terrorizing my family and not in these courts with trumped up no charges mimics and gimmicks which you Mr. are Jimmy afraid that we are that redefining the politics of this nation SSMP. we are moving